Hi guys, this is Prashpati. In this video, we will be talking about how to work with checkbox and radio button. You might have come across uh, in your application where you have a lot of checkbox and radio button. And we will try to understand what is the difference between both of them and uh, using Selenium how we can check a checkbox and radio button. So uh, to understand the difference between a checkbox and radio button, let's come to this website here. So let me enter create account <clears throat> you can see here this when you have like when you have uh, options to select any one of them we call it as radio button where you can select any one of the option and <clears throat> the state would be toggle on and toggle off and in the checkbox we will be having a checkbox where you can select multiple options <clears throat> and you can uncheck multiple things at the same time and we can check multiple values multiple options at the same time so this is the difference between radio button and checkbox so let's try to understand how selenium is going to automate this control <coughs> so to identify this control first we'll use our inspect tool to identify this so if you see i have used my inspect tool and clicked on that and this is the control which which it is showing so you can see here we have the id for that radio button the first radio button id is id gender <coughs> and the second one is id gender 2 so uh, we will be identifying this control based using this locators so let's try to click on the id gender so i have already written my small piece of code where it is going to launch the browser and navigate to that page and after once <coughs> it has identified find element by id we are going to pass our locator value and here we can say okay. using this click method it's going to click on that particular radio button uh, we don't have any other separate method for radio button or the checkbox so we will be using we will be making use of the click button itself to click on that particular thing particular uh, radio button so once uh, we have clicked on that we will just make sure we will just check if that if radio button has been clicked checked or not so we will be making use of the locator id and then we will pass gender to and we will say is is selected is selected is going to tell you whether that checkbox or the radio button is selected or not this method is going to return you true or false if the radio button is selected it's going to return true if it is not selected it's going to return false so we'll add the other method also other radio button here we will see the first one after clicking the first one should be shown as false the second one should be shown as true so before clicking also i'll just try to see like before clicking the radio button we will print the state of both the radio buttons it should show false false and then after clicking it should show false and true so let's run this program something happened here so id okay by has no attribute what did i do okay uh, there was a spelling mistake for everything i guess small mistakes sorry guys so it is loading the page and you know it has entered the value okay and then it has clicked on the 
radio button. So let's go back to our browser. If you see here, it has print, printed our state. So it was false, false, and then it is false. So using these methods, we can perform actions on the radio button. And similarly for the checkbox also, we'll be performing action in the same way. So if you want to identify any of the checkbox here, let me so this is our newsletter checkbox which we will be using we will try to identify the same control using that okay. and I will use this Just I'm giving a split seconds of delay so that so we'll try to print the value and just see if this check or not is selected and the performing action also will decide try to see is selected or not. We'll try to remove this delay. Comment the code better. Okay, let's run this. So here you can see it has it's going to enter the URL sorry username and you can see if you come down here it has checked the checkbox let's go back here you can see what uh, the previous before checking the state was false once it has checked the state has become true so this is how you will be working on the radio button and checkbox I hope video was useful for you guys thank you for watching